Hey guys, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Okay guys, in the last video, I upgraded the memory on this uh, older MacBook to 16 gigabytes. Even upgrading the memory, it's still pretty slow because it's got the original hard drive in it, uh, which is, is not only a spinner drive, but it's also several years old at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it to this solid state drive. Uh, I've been using the SP memory and solid state drives for a while now. It's, it's relatively new brand, um, but I haven't had anything fail yet. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. This is a 256 gigabyte drive. The procedure is the same for any different size drive as long as it's a 2.5 inch width. Uh, drive. Uh, the couple of things that you're going to need, you're going to need a triple zero Phillips head screwdriver, and then you'll also need uh, an enclosure or a docking station. I'll put a link to this in the description. Um, you can do it just putting this into the Mac, but this is a lot easier to format it. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to open this up. We're going to format the drive so that it's ready for installation. Okay, just plug the drive in here. Uh, you'll probably get this message. You can just click initialize. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the disk utility. And in the disk utility, you're gonna see this. And you can see here 256 gigabyte. So we know it's the correct one. going to erase it and make sure that the format is in journaled uh, and then uh, GUID partition map. We're not gonna use the disk backup. And just hit done. And you can just check it here. Mac OS extended journaled, and it's formatted and ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and we'll eject this disk here. and we'll go ahead and shut the computer down. Okay guys, uh, once you've formatted your drive, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that triple, uh, triple zero Phillips head. Okay, you can see this is the hard drive here. Solid state drive is gonna go right there. And I've seen some videos where this piece that you have to remove actually uses a T6. Uh, I think it must be on the older ones that it's a T6 and on some of the newer ones, it's a Phillips head. Mine's a Phillips head, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna remove it with the same screwdriver. Okay, go ahead and remove these screws. We're gonna go ahead and transfer them over onto the solid state drive. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Uh, you can use it over Wi-Fi for this next step, but I'm just gonna hardwire it. And then press and hold Command Option R. And it will bring you into this internet recovery. OK, 
Okay, once you get to this screen, I'm just gonna reinstall Mac OS. Okay, so now it's just gonna install Mac OS. And we're not gonna sit here through this whole thing, but once it's complete, you'll just sign in with your selected username and password, tie it up to your Apple account, and you'll be all set. That's really all you have to do. And now you have a solid state drive and 16 gigs of RAM in a very inexpensive MacBook Pro uh, that's still perfectly serviceable. Hope this was helpful.